Bo Nix is transferring to Oregon. That's right. He will be a duck for his final year. Uh, and he may have two years remaining. I am not entirely sure. But this took a lot of people by surprise. I had Auburn fans that texted me that just had no idea, like, why in the world would he go to Oregon where Dan Lanning is? That makes no sense. And I will give you the connection. Okay, Dan Lanning just a couple of days ago officially hired Kenny Dillingham as his new offensive coordinator. Dan Lanning and Kenny Dillingham worked together on Mike Norvell's staff years ago. And Dillingham was then uh, brought up to Auburn to be the offensive coordinator and the quarterback's coach in the freshman season for one Bo Nix. So, Dillingham and Dan Lanning have a connection. Dillingham and Bo Nix have a collect or a, a connection. And this makes all the sense in the world. Uh, I think the best season that Bo Nix had, as far as big moments, etc., maybe the most development that he had was in that first season. Now, Dillingham is not a play caller. He never has been, but he can develop guys, right? Uh, Dillingham was a huge part in Brady White being what he was at the University of Memphis. We can say that that was all Mike Norvell, uh, but there's a reason Mike Norvell, when he got to Florida State, went back to Auburn and hired away Dillingham, right? And that makes perfect sense. So there is obviously a good relationship there with Dillingham and Bo Nix. Bo Nix has got experience. He wasn't great in the SEC in his first two seasons, but I will say he was impressive this year when he was healthy. He liked what was going on with Mike Bobo and and has seemed to talk really highly of Brian Harson. I think this is a good move. Go out to the Pac-12. There is not as much competition because if you end up playing, his other options may have been like A&M, Ole Miss, you know, maybe, maybe Georgia. Uh, who knows? I mean, there's all kinds of different things that would go on inside the SEC. And if you are a legacy name, like Bo Nix is, he is the son of Mr. Patrick Nix, who played at Auburn. Uh, you you just played three years at Auburn. And why would you want to ever have to play them again? Like, why would you want to play against the team that you just spent three years as the starting quarterback of? I don't blame him for getting as far away from that situation as humanly possible. So, uh, I think it's a good move. I, I think Oregon needs an upgrade. We'll see what's going on with Ty Thompson. I, apparently, there is still more work to be done there. And who knows exactly what you know Lanning and Dillingham think of him. But he didn't get a ton of play this year. And if you were going to beat out somebody, uh, this would have been the year to try and get that done with Anthony Brown. Uh, but if you're Oregon, you were looking to compete for Pac-12 titles right now. And Bo Nix allows you to do that. I, I think this is a good move for both parties. So cheers to Bo Nix for, uh, for moving on and, and getting a really good opportunity. That, that roster is absolutely stacked. I think, uh, I think he's going to have some playmakers around him. This, this seems like a good move for all involved. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.